I would now like to welcome Mr. Kevin McGuire to the podium. In addition to being a member of the Medical Laboratory Science Program faculty, Mr. McGuire serves as president of the College of Allied Health Professions Alumni Council. Please join me in welcoming Mr. McGuire. Thank you, Dean Meyer. I am here today representing all of the alumni of the college, and we warmly welcome you as the newest members of our college. I want to congratulate you on making it here and remind you that you are not alone in this journey. Your alumni council and alumni across the country support a number of activities, including convocation, which occurs before graduation, celebrating the achievements of students in the Allied Health Professions Programs, alumni and student networking nights, reunions and continuing education events. Our signature e annual event, however, is today's professionalism ceremony. In recognition of the support your alumni council provides the College of Allied Health Professions and the University of Nebraska, I would like to invite those in the audience who are alumni of any of the campuses in the University of Nebraska system to please stand so that we can thank you for your outstanding contributions. Thank you, you may now be seated. When you graduate from your respective programs, you will no doubt serve on healthcare teams. The College of Allied Health Professions, by its very nature, is an interprofessional college. So the Alumni Council is delighted to take part in this ceremony to recognize the collective value of our Allied Health Professions as we welcome you to each of your individual programs. At this time, I invite you to turn your attention to the screen as some of our alumni have prepared a video for you sharing words of advice for each of you as you embark on this journey. On behalf of myself and all the alumni, I wish you the very best as you begin this exciting new chapter of your life. And now our alumni video. First of all, thank you. Thank you for choosing to be a healthcare professional. It isn't always easy, um, but it's definitely worth it. There's going to be days that they're going to question if they made the right choice. And I would just encourage them in those moments to remember the meaningful work that they're doing in this world. They ask more questions and share what you're interested in with your preceptors and other providers around you. We are surrounded by our heroes at UNMC and you, you can learn from them if, if you're not afraid. It really amazed me at how many opportunities I had passed on. I just didn't know the desire that was there to mentor or teach. So ask your questions and share your dreams. There's probably somebody who would love to have you on their team and um, it took me some years to learn that, that that divide was um, made up. <laughs> you know, but I was afraid to talk to certain people because I admire them so much. So um, you should get over that. Put the phone down, put the technology down, and talk to people, communicate with people. Because no matter what you go into, you're a servant of others. In healthcare, you serve other people. And in order to best do that, you have to put the technology down and talk to people. You have to relate to the family members. You have to be empathetic and, and really see what's going on behind, uh, behind the scenes in order to really get the, the true picture. As much as they're taking care of their patients and their families, to remember to take care of themselves because burnout is real in this world. And find something that brings you joy so that you can bring those that joy and that helpfulness to your patients. Pursue your passion. There's so many different things that you can do when you get your, your degree. So the sky's the limit. Um, if you can think it, you can do it. Find whatever it is you're passionate about and do it to the best of your ability. Whatever motivates you, whatever you're unbelievably passionate about, find that and do that for the rest of your life because you won't feel like uh, you're going to work every day. If you really, really love it and you really, really live it, 
It won't uh, be something that when your pager goes off or your phone goes off that you dread. It's a gift that you're giving back to others and something that you just absolutely love to do. So whatever that is, find that passion and let that passion drive you for the rest of your career. It goes so quickly. 20, 30 years just go by in the blink of an eye. In my case, 40, but who's counting? Thanks to uh, Mr. McGuire for rec representing the uh, Alumni Council, and thanks to our alums who participated in making that video for you and offering you, I hope, some good advice as you begin your careers. At this time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, Connie Ryan. Ms. Ryan is a graduate of the UNMC Medical Technology Program, now named Medical Laboratory Science. She joined their family business, Streck, Inc. in 1982, became president of Streck in 1992, and CEO in 2013. Ms. Ryan currently serves on the boards of Habitat for Humanity, the Omaha Discovery Trust, the Omaha Symphony, and the UNMC IXL Advisory Board. Please help me in welcoming Ms. Ryan to the podium. all organized here. <clears throat> I really liked the one gentleman's comments about find your passion. I, I really believe that's true. Um, when you're really passionate about what you do, every day is interesting and you know you're making a difference. But I feel so fortunate to be standing with you um, on this day in your career. It brings back lots of memories. I remember sitting there some time ago um, when I graduated from UNMC, my father, Dr. Wayne Ryan, who was a, um, a professor at UNMC, he could walk up to the stage with me and um, making it an even more special moment for me. Um, my dad introduced me to the laboratory when I was a child. He was a professor at Creighton and he taught in the medical school. And most of you won't remember, but the medical school for Creighton was a really old building. And I would run up and down the hallways looking at the specimens in the glass windows. And I just thought they were so interesting. And then um, I would walk up and down the stairs. The building was so old, there was actually grooves from people's feet going up and down. But it reminded me that there were so many more people that had walked those steps before me. When you think back to the moment when you decided to be what you are today, a physician's assistant, a clinical laboratory scientist, an occupational therapist, or any of the other amazing professions represented in your college, that, that moment when you said, this is what I'm gonna do. My moment came when I worked at UNMC in maternal and infant care and checked out medical records and completed a report about the mother and the infant that had to be sent back to maternal and infant care, which was a national program. I can hardly believe then that they would let a 16-year-old walk into medical records, pull all the records I took, and walk off with them. A, a whole different world. Um, I learned so much about the hospital, because I would read the, the records, and I had to find different pieces of information to put on the, the uh, form that I had. But reading the doctor's notes, reading the nurse's notes, looking for the APCAR scores, I mean, it was just a, it was a really wonderful experience. And when I would go over to the hospital, because I was over in, I think it's called the South Building now, um, I would see these people with lab coats on, white coats, and they'd be carrying trays of blood in little tubes. And I went back to, to see my dad and I said, what are they doing? It looks really interesting. And he said, they're phlebotomists. And um, he said, I said, I think it looks interesting. Maybe that's something I want to do. And so he introduced me to one of his PhD students who was a medical technologist at that time. And so the whole world of um, clinical laboratory science opened up to me. And, med and now medical technology is called clinical laboratory scientists. I think we all feel like we have to say that it, again, that now first nobody ever knows what a med tech does. 
but at least if you add this part about clinical laboratory science, they start understanding. I was a phlebotomist at the Med Center during my last year at Creighton. I loved the hospital. And as a phlebotomist, I was in the middle of every medical crisis um, that blood needed to be drawn. And it was probably the only time in my life when I walked into a room and that parted to let me go in and draw the blood. The phlebotomist is here. Nobody likes to draw blood, but I love to draw blood. And I trained as a medical technology student at UNMC. Um, they asked me to stay when I graduated, and I worked at UNMC for um, nine years. I've only had two places I worked at, UNMC and STRAC, both very close to my heart. In 1982, my father stepped back into my career. He started this small business, there were about 10 people. We had um, our building in um, an old bar, and where the bar was where the orchestra or whatever the music they had, that was where the, where the production was. He and I sat at a desk, he on one side, I on the other side. And my job was to answer customer questions and explain our product, get feedback about the product from our customers. And um, I loved it. But it was a whole new life. It wasn't the life that I prepared for. I had three small children and I worked at night. So this was a complete change in my future. Um, my journey at Struck started in tech services. I moved to product management, which is talking about all the products that we made, then to a director level, and I became president, and then later CEO and board chair. Today, Struck has over 400 people and over 200 million in sales. We make the world supply of hematology controls, and so it's an amazing adventure to have come in and worked at the place where I sat across from my dad. And there was a stage, and that's where, the, where manufacturing was, to the 100,000 square foot facility we have for manufacturing now, and uh, another facility down the road that's another 80,000 square feet. It's just amazing how we have grown. So what doors will open for you as you graduate from your program? Will you work in the hospital? a clinic, a retirement home, a corporation. Your journey could be what you love doing today, or it will take several stops along the way, much like mine did. Never once did I think that I wanted, would be a CEO. That was never on my list, CEO. But um, my love of science in any discipline has always stayed with me no matter what my job was. We are in a world, with, we are in a world where we help others, we make a difference every day where we know our personal power about our, our ability and our passion to make a difference with the, with the patient that we're working with. And your power does make you just good. It makes you excellent. If it's your power that drives you to take care of your, of your patients and those you work with, take that today and add it to the power of what is just happening now for you. Considering, I think this is... Um, really become important to me, um, just, just talking about it with others. But STEM has become the big word now that we need to introduce. But we consider introducing the world of science to those like the five-year-old I was and my dad taking me to the lab. You cannot see the future in science. You cannot decide to choose science unless you had a chance to touch it. And I think with any profession, if there wasn't that moment where you came in contact with it, it's, it's really hard to make that decision to be that person. Soon, Omaha will have a STEM center for children called the Luminarium. It will open in spring 2023. There'll be all types of ways to touch physics, biology, chemistry, and engineering. Our profession needs to continue to recruit. All of our healthcare professions do. We need to help each other and see, help others see and touch science. I wish you much luck on your journey and know you will make a difference. Congratulations for all you accomplished to this moment. Your story started several years ago and the first chapter is complete. I personally can't wait to see your second chapter and thank you for this opportunity this afternoon. Sorry, I didn't mean to step in front of you. Connie, thank you for uh, your remark and your experience. We are 
honored to have you as an alum of our college and appreciate all that you've done and the work that you've accomplished over the years for many patients and healthcare systems. We have a small memory gift I'd like to give you on behalf of the college. Anything in this kind of gift. <laughs> Thank you again. Now I'd like to turn the podium back over to Dr. Donnelly. So at this time, we will begin our white coat presentation. Students, please come forward at the direction of the ushers. In addition to those here in Omaha, we have students located in 16 different sites who will don their white coats for the first time. Those in Omaha will be able to see those students on the big screen, as well as on the, the stage screen. Each program director will present their entering students and ask them to don their white coats. The order of students is laid out in your program. It is my pleasure to invite Mike Butt to the program to begin our coding ceremony. As Dr. Donnelly mentioned, I'm Mike Dutt, and I serve as coordinator of the Cardiovascular Interventional Technology Program, or CVIT for short. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new student. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the CVIT students please come forward? Zanab Alaskar. Olivia Ray Burroughs. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming CBIT class. Good afternoon, I am Scott Sanderson, the Director of Clinical Perfusion Program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students to you. I ask that you please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the first group of perfusion students please come forward? Christian Price Banker, Valissa Ann Renee Brown, Solomon M. Chi, Megan S. Kreider, Emily Rose Everswick, Paige M. Fellers, Sheffer Thomas Harbert, Kaysen Ray Hill, Reed Samuel Holman. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, Perfusion students. Next group, please. Andrew Lee Lawrence, Madeline Elizabeth Love, Dylan Christopher Marin, Stephanie Powell, Nicole Marie Schaefer, Carolyn Taylor Troster, Samantha Varela, Jennifer Gavin Vena, Kara L. Weigel. Students, please don your coats. Please join me in congratulating the incoming clinical perfusion class.
Good afternoon. I'm Maheshwari Mukherjee. I'm the director of Diagnostic Psychology Program. Today, we have students located in Omaha and 11 additional sites. We will begin with the students here and then follow the order as laid out in your program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Stud please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the Omaha group of cytology students please come forward? Margaret Jean Ellert, Jessica Lee Garcia, Lucas David Neeland, Jacob D. Olson, Amber Romero Andrade, Katie Marie Sheehan. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. I will direct you to the screens now. <laughs> will the students at Carl Foundation Hospital in Illinois please come forward? Alexis Enrique Martinez Velas, Kelvina Lian Sosi. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. <laughs> Will the student at Dartmouth Historic Medical Center in New Hampshire please come forward? Mary Amelia Hicks. Mary, please don your coat. Mary, please don your coat. Thank you, Mary. Will the student at Lab Corp in Arizona please come forward? Alfredo Avila. Alfredo, please don your coat. Thank you, Alfredo. <laughs> Will the students at LabCorp in North Carolina please come forward? Alejandra Ayala, Jessica Lynn Kasakowski. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. <laughs> Will the students at Massachusetts General Hospital please come forward? Maria Alejandra Munoz, Rebecca Pearl Rowe. Students, please don your coat. Students, please don your coat. There is some delay. Thank you, students. <laughs> Will the students at Northwest Pathology in Washington please come forward? Louis Edward McCoy, Mighty Zhang. 
students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the students at ProPet Services in Texas please come forward? Jackson M. Carbajal, Colleen Shaw, Jessica Coleman, Adriana Debra, Emily S. Hodges, Brittany C. Noble. Students, please don your coat. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the students at Sonora Quest Laboratories in Arizona please come forward? Jenna Ray Fabrini, Hiera Yvonne Lee, Brittany Ariana Schmidt. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the students at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center in Ohio please come forward? Tin Hua, Aiden R. Stars. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the student at UC Davis Medical Center in California please come forward? Mary Q. Faisal. Mary, please don your coat. Mary, please don your coat. Thank you, Mary. Will the students at West Virginia University Medicine please come forward? Shane Horner. Harry Nicole Williams. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming diagnostic cytology class. Hello, everyone. My name is Kim Michael, and I'm the director of the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. In addition to our students in Omaha today, we also have a student joining us at the Lynn Benton Community College in Oregon. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their coats. Will the first group of Omaha students please come forward? Shahida J. Ahmad. 
Keeley S. Anderson, Brooklyn Taylor F., Elizabeth Elaine Hurd, Caitlin Brooke Kessler, Hannah Elizabeth Kokursky. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Will the next group please come forward? Lydia Ray Kobeck, Malia Don Nielsen, Kendra Shea Noe, Yanin Shu. Claire Elizabeth Yowell, and Amy Danielle Zavala. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. <laughs> Will the student in Oregon please come forward? Brianna Inez Bartlett. Brianna, please don your coat. Thank you, Brianna. Please join me in congratulating the incoming class. Hello, I'm Holly Zimmerman, Director of the Genetic Counseling Program. It's with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the Genetic Counseling students please come forward? Isabel Grace Bullock, Kylie Marie Labouve, Mitchell J. McElfresh, Danielle Marie Niles, Taylor Gail O'Brien, Elizabeth Ann Reese, Marissa Justine Rui, Carly Marie Workman. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming genetic counseling class. Hello, I'm Stephanie Voss, Director of the Magnetic Resonance Imaging Program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new student. Please hold your applause until all students have donned their white coats. Will the MR student please come forward? John David Fitzkin. Ashley Lynn Stewart. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming MRI class. Hello, I am Karen Honeycutt, Director of the Medical Laboratory Science Program. Our students began their program in May, and so they have already arrived at their clinical sites. For the ceremony today, in addition to the students joining us in Omaha, we have students joining us from four other sites. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the first group of Omaha students please come forward?
Tori Maureen Bolin, Bethany Ann Botero, Francisco Caldron, Illinois Case, Cindy Kim Din, Celine C. Eckhart, Jesus Hernandez, Grant C. Holfeld, Lindsay K. Johnson, Janelle Madden. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Skylar Mazzi, Amelia McConnell, Jocelyn M. Metcalf, Winnie Nguyen, Susanna D. Parkins, Ryan Charles Schaefer, Bridget Nicole Sisko, Courtney Beret Sporden, and Isaac Thomas Stevens. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the students at Missouri Western State University please come forward? Yuhani Borrego, Erica Lorette Worty. Students, please don your coat. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Well, the first group of students at the University of Missouri, Missouri at Columbia, please come forward. Fatima Asehati, Thomas A. Beasley, Emily Noel May Davis, Troy Michael Greiner, Zachary M. Hill, and Grace Catherine Kruger. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the next group of students please come forward? Jamie Elizabeth Menemeyer, Sarah Renee Rickman, Christian R. Robinson, Abigail Parker Wampler, Kayleen Renee Warren. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Will the students at Washburn University in Kansas please come forward? Kimberly B. Fenton, Hemden A. Mabarki, 
Tori L. Rickerson. Students, please don your coat. Please join me in congratulating the Medical Laboratory Science class. Hello, my name is Megan Timmerman and I'm the clinical coordinator for the Medical Nutrition Program. It is with great pleasure that I get to introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white clothes. Will the Medical Nutrition students please come forward? Sarah Marie Burwell, Sydney Adeline Christensen, Julia Maureen Curtis, Shishi Fun, Morgan Elise Gerwell, Madeline Elizabeth Holland, Hannah Lynn Soroka, and Haley Jacqueline Slepica. Please, students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Please um, join me in congratulating the in class, coming class of medical nutrition. Hello, my name is Nancy Cruzen, Director of the Occupational Therapy Program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the first group of occupational therapy students please come forward? Elena L. Aki, Maggie D.N. Alsa, Jensen Rose Antila, Sheridan Christan Blanco, Carly D. Bain, Lindsay R. Breckbill, Joanna Liza Cedillo, Madison Danielle Cockerell, Noah Patrick Farrow, Taylor Camille Fisher. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Sydney Lauren Fitzgibbons, Brady A. Harrison, Aubriana Grace Hohensey, Mackenzie K. Homan, Madeline Claire Hupka, Amanda M. Malashock, Madison Lee McKeever, Sarah D. Mangler, Asia Marie Oreda, Mackenzie Renee Post. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. <clears throat> Alexa N. Preisler, Rhiannon Taylor Reber, Emily Renee Rogers, Alexis Grace Sandman. Allison D. Singh, Anna Lee Squires, Allison K. Thomas, Grace Delaney Tynan, Sydney R. Wondra. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming occupational therapy class.
Good afternoon. My name is Betsy Becker, and I serve as the director of the physical therapy program. It's with great pleasure that I will introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all the students have donned their white coats. Will the first group of physical therapy students please come forward? Caleb R. Ackles, Abigail Ryan Apaka, Alyssa Marie Biggs, Grace Julia Blusies, Chaley Nicole Bolins, Kobe William Bonner, Jessica M. Braun, Jordan Nicole Brester, Thomas C. Childers, Carly Ann Christensen, Ben Philip Clinch. Students, Please put on your coats. Thank you, students. Congratulations. Will the next group of students please come forward? Cassandra Helene Collins, Carter Page Corlett, Khalid A. Cray, Liam Thomas Deesing, Hannah Rose Dietz, Alicia Marie Dittmar, Mackenzie Lynn Dusher, Ben James Dorsey, Grace Elizabeth Duncan, Alexis Joe Heller, Rebecca Leanne Higgins. Students, please put on your coats. Thank you, students. Congratulations. Will the next group of students please come forward? May Horner, Abigail Elizabeth Johnson, Kale Joseph Julis, Jenna Lee Junker, Allison Ann Keisel, Tyler James Keller, Edward Kayat, Max Daniel Knipping, Callie Marie Kreps, Bryson Christopher Cruel, Justin Lee Larson. Students, Please don your coats. Thank you, students. Congratulations. Will the next group please come forward? Jacob Eugene Laville, Jocelyn Garrett Lindsay, Trent D. Luberstedt, Jory Christopher Gray Luther, Decker Brody Matamo, Jameson Lawrence McGinnis, Sydney Grace McLaren, Stanford Max Meredith, Samuel Creel Messberger, Jackson D. Meyer, Ben William Moxmas. Students, please put on your coats. Thank you, students. Congratulations. Will the next group please come forward? Jacob Patrick Olson, Kyle B. Ott, Emma Marie Peters, Justin Michael Pettit, 
Emma Grace Plucknett, Lucas Grant Holman, Morgan K. Satterley, Joanna Lee Shaw, Felicia Hope Scheel, Mackenzie Lou Sorensen, Grace Noel Speaker. Students, please put on your coats. Thank you and congratulations. Will the next group of students please come forward? In this final group, we have Madison Grace Stipsitz, Ryan N. Swenson, Iowa Tatum Temi, Lauren Dessa Thompson, Joshua Douglas Treaty, Kaylee Lynn Weichel, Samantha J. Wonder, Zhao Zhu Yang, Yao Yao, Carson N. Zump, Caden Z. L. Zwiener. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Congratulations. And my last line is, please join me one more time in congratulating our incoming physical therapy students. Good afternoon. I'm Sean Grammer, the director of the Physician Assistant Program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. For the first group of Physician Assistant students, please come forward. Megan Christine Acosta O'Gara, Lindsay Nicole Allen, Alyssa Lynn Anderson, Haley Joe Bartz, Catherine G. Bodkin, Larissa Nicole Bovey, Nookchung Joanna Bowie, Austin James Burt, Tracy Chung, Bethany Jean Collins, Madison May Keneally. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Corin R. Cook, Rebecca Dabalski, Rebecca DeWitt, Mary Margaret Biella, McKenna Marie Flint, Alyssa Taylor Flynn, Michaela Marie Fritzen, Mariah Stacy Gann, Daisy Gomez, Christopher Allen Griffiths, Jordan J. Grooms. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward.
Shelby Ann Gustin, Leah Ray Hickbeck, Bailey Hunter Halkett, Sydney D. Hampton, Alexis Ann Heaton, Sophia Marie Herrera, Peyton Ann Hoffman, Megan Marie Justice, Claire Janalee Keller, Cassandra Jean Kent, Casey Dana Kachoffer. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Dominique Lassen Kashirkas, Leanne Lehman, Ridley Teresa Larray, Lauren Jean Mann, Reagan Renee Mazur, Sarah Ann McGill, Mary Catherine McLaughlin, Natalie Jane Milhouse, Haley J. Moody, Madeline Z. Mulder, Megan Rianne Nielsen. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. <laughs> Julia Ellis Pickard, Sydney Ann Randall, Abigail Christine Reading, Madison Shay Reinhardt, Michaela Ann Rice, Catherine Rose Ruffalo, Delaney McLean Saucier, Kerrigan Beth Shelton, Molly Claire Sindelar, Jacob H. Sorensen. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Kyla Don Sorensen, Joyson Nicole Sinachik, Kelly Marie Straub, Nicole Lee Swartzendruber, Kylie Nicole Teal, Allison Marie Tremaine, Kelsey H. Twight, Macy Ann Weave, John Michael Wilson, Sydney McHale Wilkin. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please 
join me one more time in congratulating the incoming EPA class? Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Barton Hagen, director of the Radiation Therapy Program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the radiation therapy students please come forward? Sarah Bethany Davidson, Ryan L. Keithley, Madison E. McLeod, Cassandra Miranda, Brittany Morgan Roberts, Sana Sutkin, Jacob Tyler Stoner, Skyler Joe Ewer, Diana Yanni Valendez. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating the incoming radiation therapy class. Hello, I am Ashley Vallier, director of the radiography program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our new students. Please hold your applause until all have donned their white coats. Will the first group of radiography students please come forward? Alex Alvin Carlson. Riley Lou Colt. Latasia Renee Cray. Emma Rose Gebhardt, Wilmy Herminus, Andy K. Hendred, Michaela Lee Hilker, Elizabeth Grace Hill, Grace Marie Hudson, Sarah Elizabeth Heitrich, and Sumaya A. Issei. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Next group, please come forward. Aurora F. Jung, Megan A. Leisure, Michaela Lopez Perez, Madison D. Minky, Caitlin Hope Nelson, Sydney R. Nelson, Kaya Jordan Nooch, Danielle E. Politsky, David R. Radigan, Emma Elizabeth Rugby, Amber J. Rish. Students, please don your coats. Thank you, students. Next group, please. Rachel Rodriguez Sanchez, Brandy Joe Ruzicha, Holly Ann K. Stang, Laney L. Stunkel, Antonita Nayeli Tomas, Kaylee Caroline Trampy, Carlos A. Valdivia, Jocelyn E. 
Vasquez, Melissa K. White, Suwon Yang, Casey Marie Yelik. Students, please don your coat. Thank you, students. Please join me in congratulating once again the incoming radiography class. Good afternoon, my name is Tanya Custer and I am the Director of Distance Education for the college. In addition to my faculty administration role in the college, I am also proud to call UNMC my alma mater and I am happy to be serving as a member of the College of Allied Health Professions Alumni Council. As we near the end of our ceremony today, it is time for our students to recite the Pledge of a Healthcare Professional. On page 13 of your program, you will find a copy of the pledge. Shortly, I will ask the students to join me in reading the pledge together. This is a public oath which marks the beginning of your professionalism journey. As you acknowledge the true privilege of being a healthcare professional and the obligations and responsibilities that come with this privilege. Students, please stand and read along with me. From this day forward, I vow to always conduct myself in a manner consistent with expectations of the profession I have chosen. I will treat my patients, co-workers, teachers, and fellow students with respect. I pledge to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and personal integrity, and through my words and actions, encourage others to do the same. I will hold sacred the professional confidences shared with me and maintain sensitivity to ethnic or culturally based beliefs. I will enter into professional discussions with an open mind and a collegial spirit. I promise to honor the patients I will serve and my profession by striving for the highest level of competence in my discipline for as long as I practice. I will be a contributing member of the community of health profession scholars and enrich the classroom and clinic with my reasoned ideas and opinions. I will contribute to the professional advancement of others by sharing innovative methods of practice and mentoring those who would gain from my knowledge and experiences. I will abide by the laws and the code of ethics of my profession and by the honor code of the College of Allied Health Professions. I will consistently behave in a way that brings honor upon my college, my university, and my discipline. From this day forward, I'm a professional and may my thoughts, words, and deeds forever proclaim this fact to the society I pledge to serve. Students, congratulations. You may all be seated. At this time, I will return to the podium back over to Dr. Donnelly. Before we conclude our ceremony, I need to provide you with a few logistical details. Students, please remain in your seats after the ceremony. The ushers will call you up to the stage for program photographs. Each group will be released following their class photograph. So this concludes the 2022 UNMC College of Allied Health Professions Professionalism Ceremony. And on behalf of the entire college, please accept my gratitude for joining us today to celebrate our newest students. Students here in Omaha and at all of our sites, I ask you to stand one last time and face the audience for your camera.
families, friends, faculty, and staff, I present to you one final time the UNMC College of Allied Health Professions incoming class of 2021.